Africa, hold my drink while I explain this map. Have you ever looked at a world map and thought, wait, something's not adding up? Like why does Russia look like it could swallow Europe whole? And why is Greenland chilling up there looking bigger than Africa? Spoiler alert, it's all a lie, people. A big, fat, cartographical lie. Welcome to the truth about Africa's size, where we separate fact from map-based fiction. Look, we love maps. They help us navigate this crazy planet. But let's be real. Some maps are about as accurate as a politician's promise. You know what we're talking about. The Mercator projection, that map hanging on classroom walls since forever, is the main culprit. It's time to set the record straight and give Africa its due. Because when it comes to size, Africa doesn't play around. We're about to blow your mind with the real deal on Africa. Get ready to see the world in a whole new light. Buckle up, guys. It's going to be a wild ride. Picture this. It's the 16th century, and Gerardus Mercator, the king of map making, is trying to help sailors navigate the globe. Enter the Mercator projection, a map that revolutionized seafaring. But there's a catch. Mercator's map, while great for navigation, wasn't designed to accurately represent the size of landmasses. It was all about those straight lines, making it easier for ships to sail in a straight line. Imagine trying to flatten an orange peel. You can stretch it out, but it'll distort the shape. That's what happened to Africa. The Mercator projections stretched out the poles, making countries farther from the equator appear much larger than they are. Poor Africa, located mostly around the equator, got the short end of the stick, or should we say, the shrunken end of the map. But hey, we get it, it was the 1500s, and map making was tough. But it's time to ditch this outdated map and embrace the truth about Africa's size. Let's talk about Greenland for a second. You know that giant white blob at the top of the Mercator projection? It looks massive, right? Like I could fit three Africas in there massive. Well, hold your horses, Columbus, because guess what? Greenland is actually about 14 times smaller than Africa. Yeah, you heard that right. 14 times smaller. Greenland is basically the landscape equivalent of that friend who exaggerates their height on their dating profile. Don't believe us? Check out a globe. You know, those round things that actually represent the Earth's shape. Africa is a continent of giants, while Greenland is more like a mini-continent at best. And don't even get us started on how Russia looks on the Mercator projection. The point is, the Mercator projection has been selling us a lie about Africa's size for centuries. It's time to call out this mapping injustice and give Africa the credit it deserves. Now, before we go throwing the Mercator projection entirely under the bus, let's talk history. Why was this inaccurate map so widely adopted in the first place? Well, it wasn't just about bad math. The 16th century was a time of colonialism and European powers were busy carving up the world like a Thanksgiving turkey. And guess what? A map that made Europe look huge and powerful while shrinking down continents like Africa was pretty darn convenient. It's like showing up to a potluck with a thimble of dip and claiming it's a family-sized portion. This distorted view of the world served a purpose, to justify colonization and reinforce the idea of European dominance. But hey, we're not here to dwell on the past. We're here to set the record straight. It's time to acknowledge the role maps played in shaping our understanding of the world and how those maps often reflected the biases of the time. The real MVP, Africa's got size and you know it. So how big is Africa, really? Prepare to have your mind blown. Africa is so massive, it could fit the United States, China, India, Europe, and Japan within its borders, with room to spare. Yeah, you heard that right. It's like trying to stuff your entire wardrobe into a suitcase. You can try to cram it all in there, but it's not going to be pretty or accurate. Africa is home to the world's longest river, the Nile, the largest desert, the Sahara, and a mind-boggling array of cultures, languages, and ecosystems. It's time to stop thinking of Africa as a single entity and start recognizing it for what it truly is, a continent of incredible diversity and immense scale. So the next time someone tries to tell you about Africa, just smile knowingly and hit them with some knowledge. 
Gall Peters, the Robin Hood of map projections. Okay, so if the Mercator projection is so inaccurate, what's the alternative? Enter the Gall Peters projection, the Robin Hood of maps. This map, created in the 1970s, aimed to correct the size distortions of the Mercator projection and give a more accurate representation of the world. It's like trading in your funhouse mirror for a real one. The Gall Peters projection shows countries in their true proportions, even if it means sacrificing some of the familiar shapes we're used to. It's like seeing your favorite celebrity without makeup, a little jarring at first, but ultimately more honest. Sure, it might take some getting used to, but isn't accuracy worth it? The Gall Peters projection reminds us that there's always more than one way to see the world. It's time to challenge the maps we grew up with and embrace a more accurate and equitable representation of our planet. Maps, not just for pirates and treasure, okay? Maps are more than just pieces of paper. They shape our understanding of the world, influence our perceptions, and even impact our decisions. Think about it. We use maps to plan trips, understand global events, and even choose where to live. They're powerful tools that can be used for good or for evil. Looking at you, colonial map makers. But here's the thing. Most people don't even realize that the maps they're looking at are distorted. It's like going through life with a pair of glasses that make everything look wonky. It's time to take off those distorted lenses and see the world with fresh eyes. Time to rethink. Africa's size matters, literally. The misrepresentation of Africa's size isn't just a cartographical quirk. It has real-world consequences. When people underestimate the size and diversity of Africa, they're less likely to understand its complexities and challenges. It's like trying to solve a 1,000-piece puzzle with only half the pieces. It's time to stop viewing Africa through a distorted lens and start engaging with it on its own terms. This means acknowledging its size, celebrating its diversity, and challenging the stereotypes that have plagued it for far too long. It's time to rewrite the narrative and let the world see Africa for what it truly is, a continent of immense potential and boundless possibility. World, meet the real Africa. So what can we do about this cartographical injustice? First, let's start by ditching the Mercator projection. It's time to retire this outdated map and embrace alternatives like the Gall Peters projection or the Winkle Triple projection, which offer a more accurate representation of the world. It's like trading in your old flip phone for a smartphone. Sure, it might take some getting used to, but the benefits far outweigh the costs. Let's also make an effort to educate ourselves and others about the true size and diversity of Africa. Read books, watch documentaries, and engage with people from different cultures. The more we learn about Africa, the more we realize how much we don't know. It's time to approach the continent with curiosity, respect, and a willingness to challenge our preconceived notions. Accurate maps. The first step to world peace? Okay, maybe not, but it's a start. Okay, so maybe switching to a different map projection won't magically solve all the world's problems, but it's a step in the right direction. When we see the world more accurately, we're more likely to understand each other, appreciate our differences, and work together to address common challenges. It's like finally getting your friends to try that amazing restaurant you've been raving about. Once they experience it for themselves, they get it. They understand your enthusiasm. So let's spread the word about the true size of Africa. Let's challenge outdated maps and embrace a more accurate and equitable representation of our planet. Because in the end, we're all just trying to navigate this crazy world together. And a little bit of cartographic accuracy can go a long way. If you found this video enlightening, share it with your friends and family. Let's spread awareness and make a difference together. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more eye-opening content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.